Hey, I'm Dr. Brian Wants from the Cornell Food and Brand Lab and author of the book Slim by Design. Is your home kitchen making you fat? Well, there's a really easy way to find out and there's really easy changes you can make to make it better. So in the book Slim by Design, there's a 100 point checklist you can fill out and the more points you end up getting, the more in your home is making you slim by design rather than fat by design. But importantly, it tells you exactly the changes you need to make to make your home more slimming and less fattening. You can also get started by just going to the website, slimbydesign.org. What it does, it asks 10 very easy questions, zero one questions that tell you whether your home is making you fat by design or slim by design. So let's take a look how it works. Hmm, your kitchen counters are organized and not messy. I, I think we're set here, so they get a point. Pre-cut food or veggies are in your middle shelf. Let me look. Oops, no point there. There's at least single, six single servings of lean protein in your fridge. Yeah, I think we're doing okay there. And the importance of having that is that it gives you something to eat if you're really, really hungry and you don't end up ordering uh, that extra large pizza for carryout. All snack foods are kept in one inconvenient cupboard. I know that's not the case. But you get the idea. There's 10 very easy questions like that. And the more you get right, the better your score. The more your home is working for you rather than against you. In this incredibly cool home, it gets about a six. So there's some small changes that could be made, most of these over the weekend, to make it slim by design instead of a little more fattening by design. Good luck.